Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week, we connect you to the best of Delmarva. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Megan Burak graduated from Salisbury University last year with a degree in fine arts painting. Since then, she has jumped full force into the art business, setting up a website, social media accounts, and a shop on Etsy.com, where she promotes her commission work. We met at her home recently when she had this to say about the -the on-the-job training she has had since graduation. I graduated in December, and I graduated, you know, I didn't have a website, so the first thing I wanted to do was got to get that website up. And um, I wanted to get into commission work because, you know, got to, you know, I want to make a living out of this. This is what I, you know, my major was, is what I graduated with, and I want to pursue it. I want to do as much as I can with it. And so the short-term thing is just to, you know, up the commission business, um, you know, get more into it. I've learned so much this past, like, six months um, about the commission business and the art business, and had no idea how to get a deposit or what it was or if I needed it, you know what I mean? Right now, I mean, the commissions, they've been really great. I've gotten, you know, I've made a substantial amount just from those. So if I can just continue it, I feel like I can make this, you know, a daily business and hopefully do it the rest of my life. So that's the dream. (laughs) Those commissions are for realistic portraits of people and pets. She has even received a commission to paint a portrait of a baseball player on an actual baseball. Megan follows in a long tradition of artists who have used tools like the camera obscura and other devices to create accurate lifelike imagery. She makes full use of modern technology in the production of her art. Usually I use myself as a model just because I'm readily available, you know, and I know what I, you know, kind of want to do in the picture. So we'll go out, usually it's my boyfriend will help me, um, and we'll go to a location somewhere, you know, that I think is cool and would make a good, you know, painting, and take a bunch of photos, um, and then what I'll do is I'll pick one, put it into Photoshop, and I'll edit it to make it, you know, maybe the lighting's a little bit better, just to get, you know, the best picture I can get. Um, And then what I'll do is I'll grid it in Photoshop, and I'll transfer that grid onto the canvas, so that you know each square is exactly how it should be on the canvas. Then I'll draw it out, draw it out usually you know in pencil or something light just to get you know the basic shapes. And then I'll just paint straight from the photograph on my laptop. I will usually put out maybe 15, even 20 colors at one time on a glass palette. Um, usually it'll start from white, go to blue, go to you know in the hotter colors and go all the way to black and I like to you know mix as many colors as I can get you know skin especially skin you know it has a lot of colors it's got a lot of depending on the light it's got a lot of greens it's got a lot of purples it's got a lot of you know crimson colors in it so I feel like I need a lot more color I guess I have like a myriad of colors available to me and I want to use them you know what I mean The paintings Megan produced for her senior exhibition included a series of self-portraits with masks. It was a challenge to, you know, get the detail in the mask, the detail in the face, you know, the different coloring. And then when I switched up and did some of my senior exhibition um, paintings with the masks of, you know, the skulls and they're not as happy, they're not as go lucky, you know. Um, people were like, oh, you know, is everything okay? Like, and I was like, yes, yeah, everything's fine. But it, you know, I try explaining it doesn't always have to be this pretty thing, you know. The paintings um, that I did for my senior exhibition, they were, you know, I observed in my generation that there's this cycle with relationships and feelings where we have these platforms all over the place, Facebook, Twitter, we're very... We put our emotions out everywhere. And, you know, I was observing that people in relationships, you know, if one of them got hurt, that was it. Like, we were we were done with love, you know what I mean? Like, and um, so I wanted to kind of comment on this relationship cycle 
you know, that's going on in my generation. When I look at the paintings with the masks, they seem to evoke a commentary on how we all keep some of our thoughts hidden, even in this age of hyper-sharing. The face we present to the world is not always fully who we are. What makes Megan's paintings interesting works of art, aside from her technical skill, is the fact that they tell a unique story to each person looking at them. I try to do a narrative in every painting where it doesn't have to necessarily be what the story that I think, you know, I had in mind with it. If, you know, someone else sees it and they're like, oh, you know, maybe I had a similar life experience, but, you know, it's a little different and this is what I see in it. I mean, that's great. That's what I want people to do. I want people to not just look at it and leave. I want people to look at it and, you know, be like, oh, what is, you know, is she trying to say with this? I would say I definitely use my emotions in my paintings. And sometimes I don't even mean to. You know, I'll start, I'll go out and I'll take a few pictures and, you know, I have a general idea of what I want to portray and, you know, what I want people to get out of it, what I want to get out of it. And sometimes when I'm painting it, I, I'm, it goes a totally different way, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm just like, wait, like, what am I saying in this? Like, wait, I don't even, I, I was telling someone, I was like, and I was like, oh, a lot of them are of you. And I'm like, yeah, but when I'm doing them, I kind of forget that I'm painting myself. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, a lot of my emotions, whether I want them to or not, do come out in the painting. And um, I do, I like to, I'm, I like to observe people. I've done it since I was very small. And um, that's why a lot of people were like, oh, you're so quiet. But most of the time, I was just, like, watching people. <laughs> And um, so, yeah, basically, like with the whole senior um, exhibition um, paintings, that was an observation. I mean, I definitely, like I said, have some sort of message in my mind that I want to convey with the work, but I want people that, that look at it to have their own message with it. Everybody is completely different. Everybody has their own um has been through different things in their life that I will never understand and they may never understand what I'm going through but um, there are a few things where we can come together and see the same thing but if you don't that's great too that's what I want you to do if you see something completely different in the work there's a total opposite message great to go with that that's perfect you know so hopefully I can I have a you know audience of people that just really like to take the time and look at it, see what it's saying, and go from there. Megan Burak currently has a show at the Ocean Pines Public Library through October 31st. Visit our website to see a link to her website. That's delmarvaalmanac.com slash arts. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. Be sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter. And next week, join us to learn more about our local culture and get connected to our natural wonders. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, and our underwriters for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. If you'd like to become an underwriter for this program, visit delmarvaalmanac.com support. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.